in science and using a factor tree in order to find a square root. So let's get started with the square root of 16. So let's first create a factor tree. And so I'm going to write the 16 here. We have 2 times 8, circle the 2 because it is prime, and then 2 times 4, circle the 2 because it is prime, and then 2 times 2, circle both 2's because they are prime. So now I'm going to rewrite the radical symbol, square root symbol, and I'm going to write all the prime numbers under it. Next, the rule of thumb, since it's a square root, which is the number by its times itself two times, in order to get out from under the square root symbol, they must be in pairs. So I have one pair, so I'm going to write a two here, and another pair, write this two here, and two times two is four. So the square root of 16 is 4. Now let's work another example. We have the square root of 64. Again, I'm going to create a factor tree. So I'll write 64 here. We have 2 times 32. And then 2 times, um, let's see here, 64, 32. That would be 16. Then 2 times 8. Make sure I circle the prime numbers. Then 2 times 4. Move this up just a little bit. Circle the 2 and then 2 times 2. So we have a lot of 2's represented. In fact, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to rewrite the square root symbol. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Remember, in order to leave get out from under the square root symbol. They must be in pairs. So I have a pair here, and a pair here, and a pair here. So that is 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So the square root of 64 is 8. Now, sometimes it doesn't work out exactly like this. <clears throat> so let me give you an example. Let's try the square root of uh, 18. Square root of 18. Create a factor tree. I have 2 times 9. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And then 3 times 3. Circle both of them because they are prime. So I'll rewrite the square root symbol. We have 2, 3, and 3 because that's all our prime numbers. I have one pair of threes, so they're going to come out from under the square root symbol. So I have a three, but the two is still under it. So it will be written three square root two. Okay, and I'm going to work one more example quickly, uh, something that's just a little bit different. Let's go ahead and go with 36, um, square root of 36. Here is the factor tree, three times 12, circle the 3, then we have 2 times 4, circle the 2, and then 2 times 2, circle the 2, okay? And I think I made a mistake here. So we have 3 times 12, excuse me, this should be a 3 right here. So let me rewrite that, sorry. So that will be 3 times 4, and then, so square root is 3 times 12, 12 is equal to 3 times 4, and then 4 is 2 times 2, okay? Now I'm going to rewrite the square root symbol. So I'm going to rewrite all the prime numbers. We have 3, 3, 2, and 2. We have two pairs that will come out from under. We have 3, and we have a 2. So now what we do is we multiply these two together, and that is 6. So the square root of 36 is 6. So I hope that helps you in using a factor tree in order to find a square root. Thanks for watching and Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.